Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Loading. In this episode, I'm gonna continue with the tissue add-on explorations, and I will be using grease pencil for this. Uh, this time, I will try to make like a 3D components to use inside the the tissue add-on. So we're gonna end up with something that's kind of kind of like interwoven kind of fabric material, but except that it's for like a 3D fabrications. So yeah, let's uh, just get started. So basically, the idea here is to use a grease pencil to quickly prototype um, an idea. So, for example, uh, this is actually kind of similar to what Alessandro of the tissue add-on creator uh, created, but he actually modeled it properly using Polygon. But in my case, I'm thinking to kind of try using grease pencil. So the idea is really just to make some kind of uh, uh, like a ring or something like you can connect. So I'm I'm actually drawing in 3D here. You see, um, the 3D cursor and the grease pencil actually help me to do this. The 3D cursor become the position for the grease pencil, and I'm kind of drawing it first on the top, and then I draw it from the front, and I will switch now to the the side view, to the right view. Uh, and then I'm kind of look at this grid and then okay, maybe this one will connect like that. So it's kind of like a ring but in all uh, X, Y, Z axis. So quickly I can sketch something like this. And the next thing I can do, so this is a, I'll just save it, save the blend and then quickly I will switch to switch up and I will use um, selector. This one will basically turn the grease pencil into mesh. By default, you see, we get a lot of points, but I will quickly um, kind of fix this. Um, let's see, vector interpolation. So all this bunch of points will be interpolated. Range float. This is how we do the resampling thing. I did this like hundreds time already. So that's gonna generate uh, points for our our elements. Okay, the next thing is let's try using polyline viewer. If we plug this into this guy right away, we have like a real objects, which is kind of nice. Um, the only limitation probably this part when it's a uh, it's not actually closed. If I close this, I can do that, but it's gonna connect every single one of them. In this case, just for a demo purpose, I'll leave it like that. And I want it to be as a single object. So now it's a single component object. If I try these components now with um, something like a cube, for example, I'll make this cube, uh, I'll just use this cube. Select this guy and this guy and then tessellate. Please select two mesh objects. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because this guy is a curve. Now, there's a quick trick in Sprechalk. If you want to turn this curve into mesh, you simply use the out mk2. So you bring the objects back in. And then what you want to do next is to actually create another object. So now we have real objects here, B mesh objects, which is a uh, polygon objects. Now we can assign it into the box. Select it, uh, use it to face, and just leave as default. And there you go. We suddenly have this uh, kind of complex design created. So there, so it is, you know, it's basically being uh, generated on the fly. I mean, it can be it can always be updated. Uh, like I said, if if we actually change this, maybe simplify this a little bit, and then go back to this guy and then refresh, we should get an update. And on top of this, um, if we change uh, the setting, for example, change the scale to 0.2. See, suddenly this we have this inter interwoven kind of design. 
uh, like I said, there's a there's a bit of gap there, but uh, that's okay for now. You can always merge it again, maybe using sphere chalk, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, this is how um, you can use grease pencil to kind of quickly draw something and then make changes. Um, you know, even if you go back to the grease pencil now, I hit tab and then edit strokes and select this guy and then maybe scale it a bit. I don't know, maybe uh, this little guy. Scale it up. And then after that, I just update this guy and then select this and then refresh. We're gonna get a quick update, you see? It's almost like real time, almost. And you can make adjustment until these things are touching, for example. So yeah, that's actually the quick way we can we can use this um, tissue add-on and spare chalk and a grease pencil to generate this kind of complex looking design. Let's try again uh, with the monkey. Just tessellate it as it is, maybe scale it to 0 0.2, apply, wait a few seconds, 135,000 faces will be created. That's okay. Because Suzanne, I think Suzanne has around how many faces? Can't remember, but uh, yeah, this is how you want to generate it anyway. So we get Suzanne here. So suddenly it's very, very, very streamlined. In fact, if I try it um, using a uh, spread chalk as well here, maybe like using Icosphere. Icosphere has a nice kind of pattern. So we have this Icosphere generated using spread chalk. Um, I'll turn this into wire so we can see it clearer. Now select this object and select this object. Tessellate. Going to, I can use a fan. Actually, quad, quad is fine. Fan is actually good for other things. So we have this design. I can make changes in Sphere Chalk and it will update accordingly. Oh yeah, by the way, Sphere Chalk has uh, this thing. You need to ensure we calculate the normal. Calculate the normal, otherwise it's gonna you're gonna get this flat kind of design. But the flat design is also quite nice, depends on, on what you're doing. So select this guy and this guy, tessellate, apply. We have new design and this one is actually 3D. Okay, and the nice thing is we can always go back, maybe make changes here. Um, here, increase the radius of the grease pencil. Reassign it, refresh, and we should get a new design. We don't always need to kind of assign a new object. See, you get this very intricate kind of design. Uh, it's almost like a toy, actually, a toy design. Um, yeah, I actually really like um, this add on. Um, very, very powerful and actually very simple as well, simple to use. And it works together with Sphere Chalk and a lot of Blender features like. Grease pencil, I don't know, I haven't even tried like things like particles and things like that. The idea here, of course, you create some kind of tiling of chain of components. If the components can kind of link uh, and chaining with the, like, uh, with, the, with the one next to it, you will basically able to create this uh, very complex design. They're kind of interwoven with each other. See, this is almost like linking with each other you you can't see it anywhere from far away so yeah um, that's pretty much it it's a, a quick look at um, the tissue add-on by Alessandro Zomparelli and I'm also using this stretch of add-on very powerful procedural not uh, not based add-on for blender and together they can really create very beautiful complex objects uh, with a simple just a simple procedure okay hopefully you enjoy this uh, let me know if you have any comments feedbacks um, and thanks again for tuning in I'll see you in the next video bye